Yellowstone National Park. An underground super volcano is drawing visitors, hoping for a different kind of eruption. A geyser that, you, that is usually dormant has shot off over and over again. Jamie Yuka shows us how volcanic activity under the park is producing a spectacular water show. Yellowstone is as beautiful as it is unpredictable. More than 3,000 square miles of hot springs, mud volcanoes, and of course, geysers. It goes. Old Faithful may be the park's most famous, but Steamboat is now grabbing the spotlight as the world's largest active geyser. We see gas emissions, we see all kinds of thermal activity. That's what Yellowstone does. It's one of the most dynamic places on Earth. Steamboat has erupted 10 times in three months. Prior to that, it erupted just 10 times in 27 years. But volcanologists like Wendy Stovall don't know why there's now so much activity at Steamboat. I think when people start hearing that, you know, Steamboat geysers going off, in the back of their mind they think, oh my gosh, what if the big one happens? Right. There's been a lot of hype about uh, the super volcano of Yellowstone and the potential for a super eruption. Because this geyser field at Yellowstone National Park lies on top of an active volcano with multiple chambers of magma from deep beneath the earth, an explosion means lava flows could cover several states. The explosion would send ash clouds as far as Chicago, Seattle, and Los Angeles. The good news? The last one happened 70,000 years ago. There's no evidence that we can see from all of the monitoring equipment that we have that there will be a super eruption anytime soon. But that doesn't stop volcanologists from collecting data on the Yellowstone plumbing system, a 50-mile-wide magma field. Scientists also monitor 28 seismographs stationed throughout the park because a supervolcano would include major earthquake activity. So far, nothing indicates danger. If people are worried about that happening in their lifetimes, I think they may be focused on the wrong sorts of things. That's why Steamboat's calling card these days isn't gloom and doom. It's the chance to see something spectacular. Eruptions are always fun. <laughs> Parents Yezabella and Brock Duclos are starting daughter Valette early, bringing the one-year-old to see Steamboat, even with mom eight months pregnant. It could go 300 feet in the air. That's so... That would, that would be a little That would scary. be amazing. So even without a super volcanic blast, there's a super interest in science. This is amazing. This is a nerd's paradise. <laughs> is this like your Super Bowl? Yes, yes. This is so much better. For CBS This Morning, Jamie Yukis, Yellowstone.